Hello and welcome to the Studio Brew Tool tutorial on how to make an EVM techno sequence like you can hear in the background. It's made in Ableton Operator and just stuff that comes with Ableton, no third party plugins or anything. And yeah, you can get the patch below. I'll show you how to make it, but you don't have to make it yourself. As normal, you can get the patch totally free in the description below. And yeah, please, please, while you're doing that, give us a like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And uh, leave us a comment as well if you like. So yeah, let's get into it. So for a sound like this, uh, we're going to use some FM. Uh, it, that's why I've got Ableton Operator and some distortion and EQ and that is it really. Um, uh, one thing I should say before we uh, get into the synthesis is the MIDI. Um, for a sequence like this you want short 16th notes like this really you don't want any long notes like that you don't want any long notes really. You want short you want short notes all of them and I would if you if you're struggling for inspiration I would do what you would do like a like a step sequencer on a hardware synth just get like switch it on and then start moving them and then copy it out and then maybe move some yeah something like that uh, they're by, by the way they're all in, in sort of the minor minor key um, the, a D minor uh, so I've just stuck them in key, apart from these ones, which are deliberately off. Um, and yeah, also I'm gonna, I'll show you the velocity later, but um, I'm gonna make it so the velocity controls another part of the synth, other parts of the synth, like you would on have a, like a second sequencer row on a hardware synth. Uh, so that's why this is big, but I'll get into that in a minute. So yeah, that's roughly the MIDI. Uh, you want some short notes uh, looped out and then change a few. Um, so yeah, with Ableton Operator, it's a really powerful FM synth, but it's capable of like some analog synthesis as well. Uh, that's why I really like it. Um, so yeah, these first three are going to be doing FM. Basically, you're going to hear B, and then C is going to modulate B, and D is going to modulate C. So you get a really thick FM sound as D makes modulate C and then C modulates B. And A is totally separate; it's not connected to them, and it is just a sub bass switch the others off you can hear a is just a sub bass you can see here this sort of tetris icon the routings in uh, a in uh, are able to operate are really good so yeah this is just a sine wave so like you can see basically this this tetris routing i hope you can see that at the bottom basically means um you can select all the routings here but this one is the one we used you can see if you click into it you can see that this yellow one is which is a is totally separate and goes straight to the output and then the other ones are doing like uh, FM to each other if that makes sense and then so I'm gonna so a is just an is a sine wave which is uh, uh, is distorted afterwards everything's distorted by overdrive and amp um, but it's basically a sine wave so it's, it's a sine wave with some more harmonics and distortion but it's a sine wave to add to the sub um, then if I add an operator B, oscillator B, whatever you want to call it, um, it is uh, the same thing at the same pitch, but it's a saw wave. Uh, and I think you want saw waves for sort of a nastier, although in, in FM you're supposed to use just sine waves, or traditionally it uses just sine waves, but I'm, here I'm using operator to do both analog and sort of FM synthesis, and I, want a, I think the saw wave sounds really good, uh, and I'm, then I'm going to use frequency modulate the saw wave. Um, so yeah, then if I add in C, you'll hear this is going to frequency modulate B. I'll take A off, I'll take the sub off uh, for the moment. And if I put in C, you'll hear well, how it's affecting uh, B. And if, I if I change the pitch of C. So basically that is just, uh, they're both quite open envelopes. It is just making, it's just making a much higher up detuned sound. It's slightly off really make it nasty and uh, and then that is modulating B so you can't actually hear C you can only hear it is how it's affecting B and then D is going to affect C and then you just get that really nice um, sound FM sound uh, which is a which is like you want to nasty up with FM and then you're going to cut it down with a filter in a minute like an analog so this is like this is these three are FM synthesis. We want to make it as nasty as possible, too nasty, basically. And then we're going to sort of tame the sound down with the filter. If the filter's up, it's a bit of a mess. It's a bit too much. 
So you want to make it nasty with FM and then tame it down. That's what we're going to do. And then we're going to then the A is just like I said, just a sub bass. So that's that's the the oscillators. Um, and then the filter is quite important. Uh, Ableton operates filter is awesome. Uh, so like I said, it's a really short. I've I've I've, I've cut. Turn the cut off right down. Turn the envelope up. So it's poking through the the this nasty sound is hidden by the uh, the filter, but only cutting through really quickly. Sorry, my computer just glitched there. Um, if I take it up, that's what it sounds like. So it's a bit too much, the real sound, but you, we're cutting it down um, with analog sort of synthesis, and that's why this filter is good. You don't get it on old FM synths. Uh, See, so yeah, it's an analog modeling filter on an FM synth. Um, you've got filter drive, which I can't access right now because it's on the mac mac macros. Uh, I'll go through the macros in a minute. Um, but you can basically nasty it up like that um, after the filter. Uh, and then here I've started to put in some velocity settings. So I'm going to make it so the time, that means uh, this, this envelope is going to open up more when there's more velocity. And, and uh, same here as well. Um, that, that's based on frequency so the higher the note it's going to open up so we don't get this static uh, sequence it's going to come alive and move a bit and like I said earlier it's like um, if you were making it on a modular synth you'd have a row for notes I'll go back to the MIDI and then a row to sort of tweak other stuff and uh, that's what I'm setting it up for so it, when I change these it cuts the filter short it's, or opens it hear that so now the notes are not all the same they're all sort of a, the sequence is a bit more alive and moving and this is um if you use the batch that, that I've uh, that I've um, that's in the description you definitely want to come into the velocities and change it to give it a bit so, so it's more alive and moving and not just like a staccato sound um, so yeah, uh, so that's the filter section and velocity, which is important. I don't know if I did anything else on velocity. Let me just check. I don't think there's anything else set up to be, uh, but you can make everything. Uh, uh, you can tweak anything and make it on velocity, which is, is quite a good um, feature. Um, and yeah, and then then the patch is just overdriven. And distorted by amp, two types of distortion. I think it's key to the sound. Um, and yeah, that's it. That is the sound. And you can get these really nice moving filters and stuff. You can also use an LFO to control the filter, but I like it. I think if I was doing this with uh, with a synth, I'd, I'd use a second sequence row. So I like doing it like this. Um, so yeah, that's the patch and rack setup. And yeah, and. Um, I've set the best ones up on the macro as normal so you can play them. These are set up for playability really. The first one is really good, it's the time knob. Um, you can bring it down. Basically what that does is it's here time, it's, 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 it's um, moving time. And time makes every, if you turn it up it makes every envelope in operator longer. All of them, the filter one, everything just a bit longer and everything a bit shorter. So it's really good to sort of to introduce a sound if you start it like that. And then just open them, open it up. It's quite good to sort of tweak the builds. And then um, the next one is oscillate at C level, which is the main FM really. And by turning that up, you're just gonna you're gonna frequency modulate the sound more. And that this is the filter frequency. I'll open the filter frequency up so you can hear, and then I'll tweak this, and you'll hear it more. It basically makes it really metallic and nasty, and it'll turn it into basically noise. Um, but with the filter down, you can get almost like a 303 without any FM. So these are some quite cool things to tweak. Um, and then this filter resonance, which is obvious. Um, by the way, use, I normally use this, the PRD, as the distortion type, because the resonant actually sounds good. A lot of the other distortion types, um, the resonant doesn't sound as resonant, if that makes sense. 
sounds, but this, this you can distort it in, on PRD and make the and the filter resonant screen. So you can really make it like scream. Um, then there's filter drive, which is the, the the drive at the distortion stage. If I open the filter, you can hear that better. But that's quite cool. Um, and then I've got this LFO. The LFO is set up to um, uh, you, you hear it. I'll turn it up. It's set up to tweak the FM. It's set up. To, it's only set to be always to be set to be on the filter, but it's set to tweak the pitch of C. So that's this really crazy effect. If I open the filter again. really tweak it into crazy uh, territory. Um, then there's overdrive which is this. Again if I open it up you'll hear it better. Uh, and it's amp as well which is the other distortion. And that can be really nice to turn that up. If you're using a lot of distortion it will start to cut the bass out and in that case I would duplicate an operator under here with just sine waves uh, to put a sub under them. Um, so yeah, yeah, that's it, and that's the macros. Um, I've done some other videos actually on it, different uh, FM routings to get an EBM sounds. So I'll link to them as well. Uh, the patches there are probably free, I think. I'll link them all below, and um, yeah, uh, have a have a go with them. And any comments or anything else you want, um, any other sort of recommendations, if you if you've got any ideas for patches you want me to make, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, yeah, please like and subscribe as well. So yeah, that's it from me. Um, yeah, good luck with your music making. Have a good day. Take care. Goodbye.